Hey guys, Proper English here, and today we're going to take a look at RAM or random access memory. So, first, let's talk about what RAM is and what distinguishes it from other types of memory. So, RAM is a type of memory that allows you to access the data in any random order for about the same amount of time. That's why we call it random access memory. And it's, uh, it's pretty cool. We're not going to focus on building a full array of RAM today. We're going to focus in on an individual cell and learn about the logic behind it and how this thing works. So let's get started. All right, so I've got a design for a RAM cell here, and I think this is a good one to learn how RAM works because it's pretty straightforward. It doesn't get too convoluted, and you should be able to see how it works without too much trouble. And so there are two things that we need RAM to do. We need it to be able to write, and we need it to be able to read, okay? So writing means we're taking the input, or data, and saving it to the memory cell. Reading means we're outputting the data from the RAM cell, and we can send it wherever we'd like. And so we'll start off by taking a look at our write function. And so to do that, we're gonna use a D flip-flop. Now, if you watched my tutorial on D flip-flops, you can see we've got what I called a basil flop over here. That's this repeater loop, and we can save the data using this piston. Now, the thing to keep in mind here is that we're working with a sort of inverted system, so that's what this torch over here is for. When the input is off, this torch is on, and so we're gonna say that when this memory cell is on, it's actually holding a zero, all right? So we can save a one there by turning this memory cell off, okay? so. When the input is on, this torch turns off, the repeater is off, and now when I clock the memory, we save the off here, and that's a one. And so now we've got a one saved to our memory cell, and you'll see why off means one in a second. This is where the read comes in, okay? So what we're gonna do for a read is we're gonna use a NOR gate. Now if you remember, a NOR gate is a gate where the output is only on when both inputs are off. And we can build a simple one down here, throw a torch over here. This is our output. And we don't even need to throw levers on because right now, both of the inputs are off, our output is on. And if either one of these had a lever here and we turned it on, we can actually just toss a, well, not a block, toss a torch down, you can see it turns it off. But when they're both off, the output is on. And so we're gonna use that to read the data. So right now, we've got a one saved here, okay? Because this is off. And that is one input to this NOR gate off. All right, the other input over here, the read control, well, that's still on, so we're not outputting a one. But if I flip this lever, now we're reading our data. And there you go. That is how RAM works. And it's really not too bad. You can do all kinds of crazy things, and we're gonna get into some of that stuff in future tutorials. We'll take a look at different types of memory that can be used in the RAM, and we'll get into something called dual read, and we'll learn how to set up a whole array of it. But right now, you know how to build a RAM cell. So, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something, and I'll see you guys next time.